What's going on guys? So today we are going to look at this absolutely incredibly unique and I'm not just throwing around the word unique. This is a very unique floor plan from the folks over at Salem. This is the Cruise Light 24 view, brand new floor plan and probably one of the most unique floor plans I've ever seen, especially for a travel trailer in its size. They did something here that will blow your mind away. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's kick things off by talking about the numbers. So this 24 view has a dry weight of 6,158 pounds, which once we take a look at the interior, especially the, the uh, really unique feature on the interior, you're probably going to be a little shocked as to why it doesn't weigh as much as you think it should weigh. It's going to have a cargo carrying capacity of 1,482 pounds, an overall length of 29 feet 11 inches, fresh water tank 40 gallons, gray water 60 gallons, and black tank that's 30 gallons. A still relatively compact travel trailer, has some really great graphics on the side that definitely make the windows look a little larger, but they're also really large windows. But we're going to step inside of this 24 view. And I'm going to show you what it's all about. And you're going to see a surprise. And I want to see if you can figure it out before we actually get to it. So let's hop inside of this really cool travel trailer. We're going to quickly pan around the living room and kitchen area. This is a rear kitchen, mid-living room unit. You can see some really cool things that they've done here in the living room and the kitchen. So uh, it honestly has a really great larger feel to this floor plan because of how they've oriented everything. And I love kind of that entertainment center. You can see the TV hasn't been mounted, but there's a sound bar. You can see the panoramic fireplace. We'll talk about this a little bit more when we get to it. But let's start from the front and work our way back. So right off the bat, you can see how the bed is tilted up. It has an electronic tilting bed, which is super cool. We'll go over that here in a second. You have your wardrobes at each side of the bed as well. Plenty of space, very typical of you know most travel trailers. Nice little pass through right there in case you want to put your coffee or your iPad or phone whenever you want to charge it at night or set it aside. Huge windows all around this unit. The word view used in the title is because you can just see how big the windows are. I mean, there's just so much light and visibility coming into this unit. And if that's what you're looking for, this definitely grants it. But check out what this button does. So now you have the ability to actually tilt the bed up or lay it completely flat. I think most people probably anticipated that. That's not the unique feature, even though that's very unique and you typically don't see that on a trailer this size or at this price point, it's still really nice to have. King size bed, tons of storage underneath it. You got that access into your pass-through storage right there as well, which is really nice. Just check that out. You can easily put things in or get things out. I love how they have these baskets here as well. So you can put your socks, your different things that you might need to bring into the RV and just carry them in as opposed to having to roll it all in and find a place for it. Also very, very nice. Nice strut arms holding everything up. You have some storage here as well. Nice little net there. I think that's probably more for laundry, but very cool setup. And it's kind of vented into the under storage area, which is nice, keeping it out of the RV itself. But really cool. You can definitely walk around the bed, no problem at all. You have a sliding door here as well. But the cool thing about this floor plan in general so far, at least from a bed perspective, is this feature right here. The ability for you to tilt that bed up. Look how much extra room it gives you at the end of the bed as well. Such a cool feature, especially to see on this type of travel trailer. Alright, checking out the thermostat. Some of your electronics here to be able to control your awning and some lighting. And then you have your Go Power Solar Power Controller up top, which is nice because you do get solar on the roof of this unit. Okay, moving on, check out the little curve that goes around the door here. That looks super cool, very modern, and a lot different than what you would typically see. I love the innovation here. Stepping into the bathroom has a nice cornered shower. Let's open up the doors, see if it has a feature that I'm thinking it may have. Uh, no, I was looking for a shower miser, but this specific one doesn't have it. But you have a really nice cornered shower, nice skylight above it, so you have the ability to kind of step in, especially if you're taller. Coming around to the right here, you have your sink. You have a good amount of storage, have some nice cabinetry below. You have some storage there. They've tucked the pipes back and kind of out of the way, plus a little shelf over here in a basket. You have a medicine cabinet here in the corner, which is really nice. Good spot for some towels, toiletries, maybe your shampoo, extra stuff like that. 
and then you also have a medicine cabinet. So it's a shallower medicine cabinet, but the cool thing here is that they give you both. So typically you'd only have one or the other, but yeah, they give you both here, which is really nice. So great storage right there. Then you have your cornered toilet right here. Very nice. Okay, so we're gonna step into the living room area now and we'll work our way to the kitchen. But right off the bat, check out this sofa. This is super, super cool. And one thing that they've done, which is very unique, is they've put a tremendous amount of storage underneath it and also underneath a little chase at the end. So this is a very different sofa than you would typically see. It almost seems like something you'd see in a class B. But check out the, uh, the area underneath here. Very cool, you have all these really great little baskets that you can load up with things. So you're not really losing any space at all. They, they put something everywhere to help you store different things that you might have. And this is something that's so unique. You typically see this with aftermarket builds, someone who you know gets an RV and renovates it. But that is such a cool looking sofa and they've done a great job there. And I think there's some more storage at the end as well. But let's move into the kitchen, show you a little bit about what's going on in here. Nice solid surface countertops. You have your compact microwave above. Nice cabinetry all the way around. Very residential feeling uh, kitchen area. This is super cool. And again, your compact microwave from Furion. You have your vent hood up here, as well as a three burner gas cooktop. And then you have a relatively small oven. You know, it's probably gonna be fine for cooking like cookies and cakes and pies and things like that. So it's a good birthday oven. That's probably the way of best describing it. You have your double basin sink. Check out the windows back here. When they give this the designation view, you can instantly see why. They put windows everywhere. And then you have three bar stools back here as well. And then this side right here actually flips down. So if you move the bar stool out of the way, you can flip this down and you can have it put out of the way so you have more room back here. Really, really cool idea and it locks back in place when you lift it up. Oh. But yeah, really, really great idea. Works out real well. And then it gives you all that extra countertop space or even eating space if you need it. And then you have some more storage underneath right here. Nice little drawer, good place to put keys and things like that. Not the biggest dinette, you know, you're not sitting across from each other. You have your 12 volt Furion refrigerator over here as well. Nice high gloss black becoming very, very popular in RVs, and it's good to see it here. It's a good size refrigerator, to be honest, and it's gonna probably get you enough storage for most trips that you might wanna go on. But it's a cool setup for sure. Okay, so now we're gonna show you the game-changing feature that is super unique, and will prove the unique point that I'm talking about whenever you see it happen. All right, so look at the entertainment center. Super nice, you got your cabinets on the left, you got your fridge on the right check this out so you got a handle right there it's a door handle and it's hidden by this cool little shelf when you open this up you have a bunk room hidden behind the entertainment area complete with cabinetry for clothes and storage right as well as two bunks I mean, check out these windows. So you have a huge window on each one, plus you have a little area there to be able to extend your feet into to give you the, the overall length you need. But this is super cool. If you have real small kids, this is a great place for them. I mean, this is awesome, and it's a family coach because of this. Then you have another little pocket down here as well. This is so thoughtful, so unique and different, and I think parents with small children would absolutely love this space. Let me know what you think. I know my daughter would love to be playing in there with her friends especially. You have pockets up here or more little pouches to be able to hold whatever you need to bring with you. Very nice. So you have plenty of room for toys, for clothes, for homework supplies. I mean it's just such a cool design. I've never seen this before and uh, Unique, I think, absolutely does a great job of describing this space because it's so different than anything I've seen. Of course, they have their own air conditioning duct to point in there and keep them cool. But that is such a different use for slide. Um, I've, I've seen, you know, beds and stuff in bunkhouses that are in the slide, but I've never seen 
that type of, of slide out before with that type of configuration. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. I would love to know what your thoughts are on this floor plan so far and you know, especially what they've done in the back here. Now, if you're watching TV, it might be interesting to uh, see them open it and close it. You got your cabinets here to the right of your entertainment center as well. You have a little shelf right here. Not really sure what you'd be able to fit on it because it's not very deep, but it's definitely decorative and you could probably put some pictures and things and probably permanently mount the pictures there. But check out that opening. That is super cool. Anyways, guys, let's uh, head outside and see what the outside of this unit is all about. Okay, we're going to start at the front of this unit and work our way back. You can see you have a power front tongue jack up front. You have a spot for two 25-pound or 20-pound propane cans. Coming around this side, you have a power disconnect as well if you want to shut power off to the unit. You have all your chain connections and everything down here. Nice little place to keep your chains. And then the power disconnect is tucked right back here next to the frame. So if you want to shut power off so you don't have a parasitic draw off your batteries, basically you don't want to come out to your RV and find out that your batteries are dead so you can't power anything. You know, they have the connection there. You have mechanical stabilization legs, which are cool. Under the storage here, this is what you saw from under the bed. That basket right there was the basket that you saw from inside of the RV. And then once you open this up, you have that space down here so you can instantly access whatever you're looking for from down here as well. Really, really cool. And then some of the mechanical components of the bed are also there as well that help the bed lift up. All right, check out the graphics. The graphics are made to emphasize the size of the windows and make them feel a little larger, which the windows are already super large, so having the graphics like that just makes it look even better. Then you have a huge awning, which covers about 60% of the side of the RV. You have your Moride step above steps as well. All right, looking down the side of the RV, very standard suspension setup, has a standard triangle equalizer, uh, and the tires and wheels are pretty basic. I definitely recommend replacing those after a few thousand miles. And then you have your mechanical stabilizer down here. Basically, you use like an electric screw gun to make adjustments to this. Just helps stabilize the rig. You can see it has, looks like a six inch I-beam frame, propane lines, quick connect, your low point dump, and the whole belly is wrapped on this unit. All right, let's take a look in this space right here. This is gonna be your outside kitchen. Very cool, so you have a compact refrigerator and then you're gonna have a pull-out griddle right here. Great place to cook hamburgers, fish, steak, eggs, just stuff that you don't wanna have smells linger into the RV you cook out here. You have your Everchill compact refrigerator. Very nice, just a great place to store drinks and things, you know, if you don't want to have to go into the RV, especially if you're at like a truck stop or, you know, you're just stopping to take a break and you don't want to have to go into your RV to grab a drink. It's a good location for it. This unit is really nice. Then you have your cable connection here. You have a 110 outlet below so you can bring a TV outside and watch it with the family. And then you have your uh, overall side view here. LED light underneath the awning as well as outside speakers. Just really great graphics. Kind of basic, but how everything is framed and, and looks, it has a, a really nice clean look to it overall. And then huge windows. Again, that whole view designation is really designed to talk about how large these windows are and how much light you can get into the RV or how much visibility you have outside. Great job. On-demand water heating system from Suburban. Very cool. Something you typically don't see again on this size or style of travel trailer. It's nice to see them put it on here. All right, coming around to the back. So there's no ladder to get you on top of the roof, but I do presume that these are full walk-on roofs. I mean, just take a look at these windows. They're huge, huge windows. They almost go all the way up to the top. I mean, I've just really never seen windows this large on this style of travel trailer. And uh, again, you don't have the ladder, but you do have a four inch tubular bumper on the back so you can stow your sewer hose and stuff inside of there, which is nice. Kind of keeps it out of the way. Spare tire hanging off the back as well. And it is pre-wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. Then coming around again, this has a single AC unit in it. So it has a 30 amp cable right here. Then you're going to have your cable connection above it for cable satellite connections into the RV. Alright, taking a look underneath, you have your 
little dump station right here or your sewer station and then you also have another mechanical side to your leveling system all attached to the frame. This unit also has standard frame windows, not frameless windows, but that's usually expected. What's nice about them is that you get a really good cross ventilation and especially considering all the windows you should have excellent cross ventilation. Here's your outside shower. It's kind of locked right now. And then below it you're going to have your city water connection as well as your black tank flush and then all your sewer connections underneath. So everything's plumbed to the same area which makes it really convenient because you don't have to connect two different hoses if you're going to be draining. And that's going to wrap it up. This side of the storage was locked that's why I didn't open it. But what do you guys think of this really really awesome cruise light from Salem? This is again the view series. This thing is super cool. That slide out right there contains a bunk house, which is absolutely amazing. I think they've done an absolutely fantastic job with it. You know, from a towing perspective, this unit kind of is, falls in that really interesting area to where if you have like a max tow capability half ton truck, you could probably get away with it. I don't think you'd have much of an issue as long as you don't load this thing up to maximum capacity and you just keep an eye on your tongue weight, how much weight you're actually transferring to the back of the truck. But you could get away with like a heavy tow package on a half ton truck. I believe you could probably tow this with that. And to be as safe as possible, just make sure you use a weight distribution hitch with a good sway control system built into it. But yeah, very cool setup, very cool layout. I really like it. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.